time and time again. You know, it's just so unfortunate that every year, you know, you're losing loved ones to gun violence. The mother of a standout St. Paul basketball player, Dion Ford, opening up after her son was shot and killed outside a city market. Hello, everyone. I'm Randy Meyer. And I'm Kelsey Carlson. Authorities have said that Ford, a concealed permit holder, was attempting to defend himself from a robbery when he was killed. The gunman has a history of armed robberies, and some are questioning why he was even out on the streets. Paul Bloom live for us tonight outside St. Paul Police Headquarters with more from Dion Ford's heartbroken mother. Paul? Yeah, Randy, Kelsey, good evening to both of you. We've talked to a lot of people these last few days about Dion Ford, and by all accounts, he was one of the good guys. As you saw there, I did speak, uh, sit down with his mom today. She admittedly still in shock, trying to process and make sense what happened. A bright light for everyone around him. So It's not just me that's hurting, it's, it's a lot of people. Dion Ford's mom did not want to appear on camera, asking us instead to conceal her identity, but she insisted on speaking out Monday about the census gun violence that stole her 21-year-old son and the young man accused of pulling the trigger. Um, I think definitely the system should be looked at. Ford was a standout student athlete at St. Paul Central who played college hoops out of state for a couple years. He was gunned down outside the troubled Maryland supermarket in the city's North End neighborhood last Thursday night. A permanent gun owner, Ford fired first when confronted at his car by Xavion Bell. I'm definitely disgusted. You know, it's, it's unfortunate all the way around. Uh, what is so maddening for Dion's loved ones and others, why was the 21-year-old Bell out on the streets in the first place? In a 2018 case, Bell pleaded guilty to aiding and abetting aggravated first-degree robbery. His crew alleged to have put a gun to the head of a woman with a baby in her arms, stealing a visa card from her purse. Bell would avoid prison time until he was accused again. Same basic M.O. two years later. Charged a couple of times, including in one terrifying ordeal, forcing a victim at gunpoint to drive to a bank, draining $800 from their account. He was released from prison last November, posted bond in the cases where he was still awaiting trial, and is now hospitalized, facing two counts of second-degree murder. This time, the court has set his bail at $5 million. The crimes he I've he has committed is just it's disgusting and for him to be still out walking is I can't even fathom it right now. Some strong words there from Dion's mother. I want to take you to this last scene uh, balloon launch over the weekend. This is right outside St. Paul Central, of course. Dion's uh, alma mater, friends, family, loved ones gathering there to remember the young man. On Saturday, you could tell in my conversation with his mom that scene really meant a lot to her. We're live outside St. Paul Police Headquarters tonight. Paul Bloom, Fox 9. All right, Paul, thank you.